welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a favourites video. I thought that I'd just um, create a video for you so that you can sort of see what my favourite products are. Um, these aren't necessarily my favourite products this month um, and some of them I've used for quite a long time and some of them I've only started using recently but I'd say that I've managed to pick quite um, a good range of products to show you. Most of them are beauty products, uh, in fact all of them are sort of beauty related. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first product that I want to talk to you about, which I'm sure most people use, is the um, Garnier Micellar Water. Um, I've probably used this for probably about, oh I don't even know, quite a while, for, probably from when it first started to come out. Um, I have really sensitive skin, like so, like it's so sensitive, it's a joke and I can use things for maybe like two or three days and I won't get a reaction to it but it takes me to use it for maybe like a week, a week and a half before I know whether I'm going to be allergic to it. Um, before using this I used to just use baby wipes so like not even makeup wipes just pure baby wipes and my face was always so blotchy and um, dry and I used to get so many spots it was, it was it was horrible and I just thought that my skin was sensitive and there was just no other way um, baby wipes I thought that they would be quite sensitive you know with them being for babies but I was told otherwise but they're full of alcohol and actually they're just tearing your skin to pieces um, so I came across this I was told to use this and I can't even tell you how much I love this stuff like it's just so good you, I just use this all over my face this removes all my makeup I use it with just round cotton ball cotton wool pads and um, yeah I love it it's so um, gentle on the skin I've recently also purchased this so this is the same but it's just the gel wash so I put this in the shower and I use this to take my makeup off um, or just wash my face in the shower and it's also just as good um, so yeah it says removes makeup and cleanses and soothes the face and um, rinse off after use and it's Hello? Yeah, you? I'm um, just in the middle of recording the video. It's alright. Alright. I'll see you soon. Love you, bye. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, this is for face, eyes and lips and it hasn't got any perfume in it, which I think is why it works so well um, on my skin. But yeah, these two products are definitely my favourites and I'm sure that I'll be using them for um, a long time. So the next product that I'm going to talk to you about is um, the Elizabeth Arden, so I've got a really itchy nose, um, is the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream and this is what it looks like. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. It's this is what it looks like. Can you see? You'd think that it was going to be a cream, but it's actually more like I don't even know. I don't even know what to describe it. But it's more like a gel consistency than a cream. Um, but it's perfect. I I use it on my lips mainly, but also I get quite dry eyelids. And also, if I ever get any dry patches on my face, I always use it. But it says, the legendary skincare classic works wonders to moisturise and protect anytime, anywhere you choose. Shape your brows, revitalise, soothes dry hands and smooths cuticles and nails. Also suitable for chapping, peeling or flaking due to minor burns, sunburn, wind burn, scrapes, abrasions and cracked lips. So yeah, you can use it for a lot of things really. This is good if you get sunburn. It's really cooling on your sunburn as well. But it lasts you so long. Um, obviously you get quite a lot in it. You, you might not think that this is very big, but it is. And it lasts quite a long time. This is the second one that I've had of these. And the first one, I'm sure I had it for like two years. I just used to keep it in my bag um, and use it on my lips mainly. But it was good for other things as well. 
but no you can buy this from I think they sell it in boots I know that they sell it in the bigger like the bigger um, sized boots stores um, I think you can buy it from like John Lewis and Debenhams and those types of places but I will link it down below and I think it's about £30 um, but yeah definitely a fave of mine um, the next product I'll talk to you about is my one and only favourite fake tan and that is the Bondi Sands um, liquid gold self tanning dry oil you can also buy this from Boots, um, Superdrug, the Bondi Sands website um, I think most places are starting to stock this now because it, is, it has become very popular. I bought this last summer, no, last winter, last win yeah, last winter, and um, it's definitely my favourite. And this is the third one of these that I've bought. Um, a lot of fake tan that you buy can be quite dry into the skin and the ones that I've always used have been instants like the ones that you just rub on and they sort of the colour is immediately there and then it develops a little bit the more the more you wear it um, they're good but for one they come off all over your clothes two if it rains or you spill something on you then it's game over basically um, and yeah I get quite dry skin I've basically got really sensitive skin and I get quite dry patches here and I found that it clinged a lot to my dry patches so this is literally a miracle because it's dry oil as well um, it just goes onto the skin so much smoother this isn't an instant tan this is a developing tan so I'd usually put this on with a mitt um, literally just put it all over my body, exfoliate beforehand obviously just rub it all over my body and then go to bed and then wake up in the morning and that's when you usually look the best um, it smells nice as well, it's coconut. it's got coconut scent and it's a little bit sticky um, I have probably put it on once before where I've put it on then put clothes on and gone out but it can be a little bit, you do feel a bit like sticky in uh, like depending on what you're doing it so it can be a bit uncomfortable um, so I'd say and recommend that you sleep in it but um, yeah like I said I bought this from Boots and I think this is £15 um, but no this is definitely a fake tan that I would recommend okay the next product is a hair product and um, it's the Olaplex number no. 3 treatment Um, and you can buy this from Amazon um, I've had a couple of these as well and I would 100% recommend them obviously I have got dyed hair my hair is naturally dark brown so um, the fact that I have got um, blonde well most of it is blonde now this treatment works wonders for me and I usually just put it on once a week um, I put my head over the bath or just wet it in the shower, don't wash it or shampoo it or anything and then just apply this all over my hair and then usually just wrap it up in a knot, sort of something like this and sleep in it and um, just leave it on for as long as you can really I think it suggests that, well you can leave it on for a minimum of 10 minutes so if you wanted to leave it on, if you wanted to just put it on quickly before you were going out um, before you was to wash your hair then you can do um, but I like to leave it on for as long as possible so yeah I always try and sleep in this and um, this is about £20 and um, you've only I think only probably in the last year have you been able to buy this um, online a lot of it a lot of the Olaplex treatments are for hair salon treatment only so a lot of places would say that you can only buy this in the salon but um, this is the take home um, one so I think there's a number one and number two which they probably use in the salon and then this is the one that you can bring home so you can sort of maintain your hair and it just basically makes my hair, it just brings the brassiness out of the blonde and just makes it look a bit more um, blonde and sort of gives it that whiter look rather than yellow um, but no this just maintains my hair and I put it on once a week but yeah love this and I think I'll continue to buy this whilst ever I've got blonde hair. Um, another hair product that I would want to talk to you about which isn't actually for your hair well you can put it on your hair it's just coconut oil and um, 
Now I absolutely love this coconut oil and this is another product that I would put on my hair probably same again once a week once every other week um, and I just put this on my hair dry so when my hair's dry I don't wet it I literally just pile this all over my hair um, I think this is the cooking one food supplement yeah so you probably there's probably I think there's quite a few different types of coconut oil that you can buy um, but this was just the one that I spotted and it works well and um, it, it's the one where it's well I think all coconut I don't know it's hard so I literally just have to scrape a bit out and um, warm it up in my fingers and then I just put that all over my hair but yeah this is another product it's so cheap you can buy this from anywhere um, I don't know how much this costs um, but it's obviously natural and it's good for your skin as well so I have before put this as like just like a um, an oil sort of mask over my face um, which and it feels nice as well so you can put this on your face on your skin in your hair obviously it's a natural product so you can just put this anywhere but it is really good and I definitely recommend having this um, at home okay the next um, my next favorite product that I want to talk to you about is this perfume um, and this is the Givenchy perfume can you see and this is the um, this fragrance is called Ange de Mon and this is literally the most amazing smelling perfume you'll ever smell it literally smells I can't even explain but me and my sister have loved this perfume for so long and it's quite expensive and it's not something that you'd probably go out and buy yourself all the time um, but it is nice I think I got this for Christmas um, but yeah it's definitely probably one of my top five favorite perfumes that um, I would go to and it's also amazing because it comes with well you can buy it in a gift set when you get the um, body wash and also the body cream and this so if I'm ever going out on a night out I'll always wash with the soap put the cream on and then spray this on as well so it just lasts that little bit longer but yeah it smells amazing and if anybody's ever wearing this I can 100% smell it a mile away like it's so distinctive it's got such a nice smell um, but yeah this is quite expensive I don't I can't tell you off the top of my head how much it costs for this size this is a 50 this is a 50 ml sized bottle um, but I will tag it in the down bar below so the next product that I'm going to talk to you about um, is a foundation and it's the L'Oreal true match foundation um, this is a favorite foundation of mine and this is in the shade golden beige um, I did speak about this in my foundation review video um, that's already on my channel I'll link that video below as well for you so you can find out a bit more about this um, but it's a drugstore foundation it's £10 and I'd say that it probably is it's a really light consistency it's not really thick but it gives a really full coverage and it's just really silky on the skin and it blends really well it's actually what I'm wearing now um, and yeah I just love it I, f I love the fact that it's only £10 as well and the fact that you can sort of buy it from most you can buy it from Boots, Superdrug, Asda, Tesco anywhere like that they all sell it but no I do love this foundation and moving on to another um, makeup product that I love and it's the Maybelline Anti-Age Eye Eraser um, this is probably my favourite um, concealer. Um, I love it, the fact that you can buy it from the same again, Boots, Tesco, Superdrug, anywhere like that. I think it's about £8. And I have this in the shade Light. Now the only thing with this is it hasn't got a very good applicator. It's like a sponge. Let me see. Um, so it's not very hygienic. Um, but it, it the applicator is good and it does apply to the face really well um, and it just gives a really co full coverage so yeah this is another favourite of mine I think I've re-bought this a few times as well the other thing that's not very good about this is they don't do many shades so I think they only do two I think it's light and fair or I maybe just made that up but yeah I know that they only sell it in two different shades um, which is okay for me this one's fine but um, it might not be good for everybody else but no this is my other favourite 
And then my final favourite is a pair of eyelashes. And it's these eyelashes. These are the Ardell Wispies um, in black. Um, now, those of you that know me will know that for quite a while I did have eyelash extensions. Um, probably about a year and a half to two years I had them on full time. I was literally having infills every two weeks. They were so hard to maintain but they were worth it. Um, but I felt that my eye, my own eyelashes were getting quite weak and I decided one day that I was going to have them taken off and I literally looked ill, like my eyes looked so bare, I looked ill, it was really bad and um, I've never really been one to wear false eyelashes but um, I knew that I had to get some lashes to wear because my own eyelashes were so short and snapped that it just looked, I just looked awful. And these were, I was recommended to the, um, recommended these by one of my friends. And I, yeah, I love them. These are my, the only ones really that I wear. So this is what the eyelashes look like. <laughs> this is the eyelashes. And they're just really wispy. Obviously, they're called the Dem they're called the Wispies by Ardell. And yeah, I love these. They're about seven pounds, I think. You can buy these again from Boots, Superdrug, Tesco, anywhere like that. Um, I think that's one thing that I like about most of the products that are my favourite. You can buy them so easily um, because I know that a lot of eyelashes these days that are good are really expensive, and you can only buy them online. Um, so no, I definitely recommend these ones. They don't look too like, what's the word? You know, some eyelashes that you put on, they just look really fake and like, not very nice. Well, these ones are, for the price of them, I think that they're really good. I think most eyelashes that I've seen these days that I really like are like £20. I just can't justify spending that much on a pair of fake eyelashes um, when that's how much I used to spend on infills that would last me, well, however long. So yeah, these are my favourite eyelashes. I only really wear these when I go out or if I'm going somewhere nice, like usually day to day when I'm at work, I just put mascara on my own eyelashes now because they have grown back, which I am so grateful for. Um, but yeah, that's all of the products in today's favourite video, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Um, I will pop all of the links to everything that I've spoken about um, in the down bar below so that you can go over and have a look for yourself. If you haven't already then please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you did like this video then make sure you give it a thumbs up at the end. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Yes.